The Bible told us to respect authority and follow their command if it is lawful. What you're about to see is this lady cop who obviously on a power trip trying to stop the preacher from speaking about God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, which is demonic because only the devil and his demon will attempt to do that. But the preacher refuses to follow her unlawful command and he threatened to sue her in court. Take a look. Okay. Uh, I'm Sergeant Liz Lenzen, Tempe PD. Hello. Um, hey, who's been using the megaphone? Uh, I have. Yeah, and what's your name? Jeff. Jeff who? Yeah, Jeff. It's Pastor Jeff. Pastor Jeff. Yes. I'm so supposed to know. Where are you pastor at? Uh, Apologia Church in Tempe. Okay, and what's your last name, Jeff? Uh, do you need that for anything? Yes, we do, because we, we have a complaint that we're working. That's why we're here. Okay. Well, Otherwise, we would not be here. No, I respect your position. I was just telling this officer over here, in order to for me to identify myself, I have to be cited with a, a crime according to Arizona state law. Well, we're going to give you a warning right now, so we're going to need that for a street check. So what's your last name? Okay, so the warning is a violation of the law? Well, because of the amplified sound device. Well, what I was saying to the officer Where's was... Zach? He's right over here. Zach. Where's the other Zach? Zach he's number Morgan, one. He's out of state right now. Okay, I'm used to... They know me. And Stephen knows me. So you're going to be given a warning. You cannot use. And well, officer, you can't know. do that. Officer, you can't do that unless you have a calibrated meter according to the city code. Oh, we can. And you um, test it. Yeah, we can. And so you you're can violate get, this law. We have a complaint that's a citizen. A complaint of illegal activity. We have complaint of a legal activity. A disorderly conduct. Ma'am, that you, if you read the city code, you'll We're see not you arguing. can't. You've been given a warning. You can't use your amplified sound device. If you will, you go to jail. You've already been given that warning. Ma'am, you're not even looking at the, you're a supervisor, you won't look at the law? No, I know the law. We'll file a suit against you. Go ahead. Okay. Lenzen. Gotcha. Okay, let's get that on the camera. Get Officer the Lenzen. Cam. We got our cams going. Officer Lenzen, would you like it to look at the law? Look at, we'll do this. Lenzen. Is this, this professional is the, activity on your part to is. act, behave you, in this manner? You've got a warning, so please don't do it. We don't what's really the warning want to for? Arrest you. This is my question. What's the I warning for? Warned already. Okay. Officer, what's the warning for? Amplified sound device. That's legal okay. activity. You can't use it. You won't look at this? Don't use it. Don't it's a legal activity. We have a complaint. Ma'am, we'll sue you for violating our constitutional you can rights. Sue us. You can. It's your right. It is my right, and you, and I want to I want to do this for the record of the court. She will not look at the city That's code. Warning. Thank you. You won't look at the city code. No, I already know it. Yeah, ma'am, I reject your warning. Okay. I reject it. We're going to document And we're going to continue to use sound application because our, it's our constitutional right. And if you, if you try to violate our constitutional rights, we will sue you okay. and the city of Tempe. Okay. Okay? Thank you. All right. And just know it's on record. You refuse to see the city code. You refuse to look at it. You don't have it, man. You don't even know what it is. Officer, officer, you need to repent of your lawless conduct. This is lawless. You are not engaging in activity as law enforcement right now. You are engaging in thuggish, oppressive, unconstitutional behavior. You don't know the law, and yet you pretend to represent it. The law states, I have freedom of speech. The law states you have to have a calibrated meter in order to cite me for anything. You didn't even know you're not allowed to ask for my ID without citing for a crime. Officer, you didn't know the law and she didn't know the law. I can ask for anybody's ID. Right. They don't have to give it to me. Right. You didn't give it to me. I appreciate that. Questions. But how come you guys didn't know you had to have a calibrated meter? You're citing people for disorderly conduct and no amplification and you didn't even know the law. That's not law enforcement, sir. That's being a thug. You will be sued, sir. You're on record. This entire activity has been documented on video. You guys criminally cited somebody last week. You stole their property. You're engaged in lawless behavior, sir. She just read, said you're not allowed to have it. So, obviously, we're being a little more firm with the police today. The police recently have been harassing us and trying to stop us from doing this work. The police recently cited our friend Stephen, who's been out here for years saving lives. 
He has a court case this month for this very issue. Also, they stole his property, which is valued at over $300, which I, I think is a felony if a private citizen was to do that. So the police showed up just now, had no idea of what the law was. That was a supervisor. She didn't realize that you cannot criminally cite somebody for constitutionally protected activity. They didn't know that you had to have a calibrated meter to actually test the level of sound. And you just noticed that she wouldn't even look at the, the city code. She wouldn't even look at it because they're not concerned with it. It's apparent that the city of Tempe, two different departments, including the police department, are colluding with the business owners here and with Planned Parenthood to stop our constitutionally protected activity. So you'll notice I was a little more firm with the police department there and calling them out on their lawless activity because if Christians don't actually stand on what the law is and actually confront lawless behavior of police officers, they'll continue to oppress people, they'll continue to perpetrate injustice, they'll continue to violate our rights, and they'll actually try to halt ministries like this that work to rescue children. So you'll notice something. When Stephen was here and Stephen was criminally cited, they confiscated his property, Stephen didn't actually confront the police officers, from what I understand, with the law itself, the city code. And so what did they do? They ran roughshod over Stephen, they confiscated his property, and now he has a court case. But as soon as you confront the police officers with the law itself, they don't even know. And you'll notice her very unprofessional behavior when she's being asked to look at the law itself. She wasn't even willing to do that. And so I want to encourage you guys to keep praying for us because this could get worse for us. We are not stopping. As a matter of fact, I'm going right back on this to continue to talk to the women because that is our constitutional right. And beyond that, it's also what God commands us to preach the gospel. We're legally allowed to use amplification. They have to have a calibrated meter. They're not obeying the law. And so as Christians, we have every right to obey the law, which is freedom of speech. We can use amplification. It's been ruled. Uh, just for some context, you know, this preacher was at was at a, a neck was well, he was next to a clinic trying to preach to women that's coming to get an abortion that it is wrong to have an abortion. Is you killing your baby? Is you sacrificing your baby? That's the reason he was where he was at. But the police was trying to stop him. But let's continue with the video. Ruled on by the Supreme Court, by federal courts, and the city of Tempe says we can use this. If they think it's a disturbance, they have to actually use a calibrated meter and test it for a minimum of five minutes. So that's it, guys. Pray for us. There's a good chance they might show back up. There's a good chance I'm going to jail. So pray for us. The difficult part to watch is she knows he's right. That is why she's refusing to look at the city ordinance when it comes to using loudspeaker in public. Her goal was to stop the preacher from speaking about God. You can clearly see that from her attitude. I was expecting for the preacher to be arrested, but God was in control. If it is your first time in this channel, please consider liking and subscribing and tell me what you think. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care.